I'm here today with a foundation first impressions on a ridiculously expensive foundation, $85. $85 for a foundation, that's crazy. Granted, the La Mer is 110, I think, but you at least get a fluid ounce. This one, you only get 15 grams or half an ounce. Half an ounce for $85. It's a Tom Ford Traceless Foundation. It's a medium coverage foundation. It says it's great for sensitive, normal, dry, combo, oily skin, a matte finish. And it says it's a unique cream foundation that creates a flawless, natural finish. It also says it could be sheer, medium to full coverage. And it stays beautifully natural and undetectable. When used as a concealer, it swiftly hides imperfections, leaving a matte finish. It's pretty much all it says. And it has pretty good reviews. It looks like on Sephora, it has... 47 reviews and a total of 4.6 stars. So it's ranked pretty high as being a pretty fantastic foundation, um, especially for being $85. So if you are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Cassie. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit that little bell and we're gonna go through, we're gonna try it on, see how it wears, see how it applies and see if it's worth $85 for half an ounce. So. Uh, just stay tuned. I already primed my skin with my Too Faced Hangover RX primer and my Cover FX Blurring Primer. And so we're gonna go in and try out this new Tom Ford Traceless Foundation Stick. I'm hoping this shade will work. It is shade 5.5 Bisque. It might be a little bit dark. Um, we're gonna just start drawing it on here. I'm gonna use my Beauty Blender because that's just what I like to use to blend this kind of stuff out. Oh, that's not blending out very easily. That is not looking super awesome on my skin. Not moving or blending very easily into my skin. The color match is not too bad, but this is not blending super great. I am not loving this in the slightest. This is like not blending very easily. It's a lot of work. Um, the coverage is okay. There is still quite a bit of redness being through. We're gonna go in with a brush on the other side and see if that will blend a little easier. I've used quite a few um, stick foundations in the past. Like I love the Hourglass Banish Stick, that's so nice, and it blends so beautifully into the skin. And it's like, it blends with the Beauty Blender like a dream, it's super easy. This definitely blends better with a brush than the Beauty Blender, because that blended out a lot easier. This is a ColourPop F15. I have to say, like, I'm not completely wowed with this. I had no idea. I don't know how I didn't pay attention to the price when I bought this, but when I got it in and I was getting ready to like figure out what videos I was gonna film, I was like, holy crap, there is no way that I spent $85 on this foundation. But I did. And so far, I'm like not completely like wowed just off my first impression of applying this. Definitely is a foundation that you need to apply with a brush. Oh, Trash Man's here. This is definitely, you have to do a brush. Like the Beauty Blender just was way too hard. Um, I'm gonna take my Beauty Blender after though and just kind of try to melt it into the skin. Man, that trash truck is so stinking loud. Not really settling into any pores or fine lines, but I feel like texture is a little bit accentuated. Like I feel like on my cheeks right here, it looks like I have a lot of texture. So I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm loving, loving it yet. We'll see when I finish up with the rest of my face if my opinion changes, but just off the bat for $85, it was a little bit hard to work with, with my Beauty Blender, which is like my preferred method to apply my foundation. And I just feel like I have like some, it looks like I have texture right here and I'm not excited about that. So let me finish up with the rest of my makeup. I will pop back on and let you know my thoughts. So I have applied all the rest of my makeup and I have to say, once I finished my makeup, I actually really like the way that it looks. 
At the beginning, I was super skeptical. Skeptical? Yeah. At the beginning, I was super skeptical and I was kind of like, oh, I don't know. But now that I've like done my concealer, I think it's really pretty. It is really, really pretty. But we're gonna go through the day, see if it's worth $85, see how long it wears throughout the day. If I only get like four hours of good wear out of it, definitely not worth the $85 price tag because there's a ton of great drugstore foundations that last a lot longer and have um, a really beautiful finish and aren't $85. So we're going to go throughout the day, see how it wears, see if it's worth it. So I will check in in a few hours and it is also 1141 right now. So I'll check back in a few hours and we'll see how it's wearing with a check-in it is almost four o'clock it's 3 50. let's see how it's holding up i have just been running errands cleaning up the house let me zoom you in here you can probably hear the dogs toy squeaking ethan talking the washing and dryer machine it's just crazy here okay so checking in it has almost completely worn off of my chin i don't know how that's possible i don't even know if i've eaten um and i'm a little bit shiny here but other than that, it's not bad. But I definitely noticed that there's like no foundation on my chin. Let's add that back on. And then I'm just going to use my brush. I could have, oh no, I was gonna say maybe my sunglasses, but I mean, there's definitely sunglass marks, but that wouldn't mean that it was all worn off there. Um, I feel I feel like on my forehead, it's still holding up pretty good. I am like a slight bit shiny, but not too bad. So I'm just going to take my beauty blender with no additional product and just kind of blot in those areas. So, so far it's not that bad. Um, it's holding up pretty well. It's $85 foundation though. So I don't know. We're only what, four or five hours into it. It still looks really pretty though but I don't know if it's worth $85. <laughs> so I'm gonna check in in a few hours. We'll see if it's holding up still and give you my final recap, final thoughts. Almost seven o'clock, so I've had this on almost eight hours. Looking in the mirror, I haven't touched up or anything. My final thoughts, I mean, it doesn't look bad. I'm definitely like shiny up here. My chin is still like worn off on my chin again. And now I see it starting to settle into all of the fine lines around here. It's pretty when you finish up your makeup, but it doesn't, I mean, ugh. I, it's just really expensive. I think if this was more of like a $30 foundation maybe, but 85 bucks for half an ounce and it doesn't like wow me. I'm not like, oh my gosh, my makeup looks amazing. Like I felt with the Alame or the Physician's Formula um, or quite a few of the, different foundations I mentioned in the Sephora VIB recommendations. Those like really wow me and they're like half, if not like a quarter of the price. So while I think it's a nice foundation, I don't think it's worth $85. You're definitely paying for like the Tom Ford name. Uh, the packaging is pretty, it looks nice, um, but it's just not like a wow me kind of foundation. So, you know, if you wanna try it, do you wanna splurge on it? go for it. But if money is tight and you have been like contemplating buying this, I'll honestly say pass. Uh, but again, it's up to you if you guys decide to buy it. I'm on the fence whether or not I'll even keep it because that's just so expensive and it's not like wowing me. You know, when my Almay like $7 foundation wows me every time or my Physician's Formula $13 foundation wows me every time. So just a little bit sad. But that is my final thoughts. Have you guys tried this foundation? What are your thoughts? Have you tried the liquid version of this? Did you like that? If you've tried that, have you also tried this? Do you prefer one over the other? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.